What's this? What's this? Huh? What's this? What's this? Yo, what up guys? Uncle Felix here. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to beat the Mage Tower as a Guardian Druid. Uh, by doing this, you're going to get uh, this bear form, the Felwear Bear Druid form, and you're also going to get this Transmog set, which is not too bad. So for the talents, you can copy these talents here. Uh, I'll have the import code in the description. Uh, just before you start, make sure you have all your talents in your action bars. I'll go over the uh, potions and stuff that I bought on the auction house uh, really quickly, as well as the phase one and phase two of the fight. Uh, if I speak too quickly, just feel free to slow down the video, uh, ask questions in the comment section, and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. So uh, first off, we're going to get in the auction house the faded fortune cookies the drums of fury the potion of unbridled fury the file of glacial fury which i actually forgot to use build augment rune uh, this item is from shadowlands just because it's way cheaper on the auction house and a goblin glider kit just in case you get knocked off the platform so this bosses has two phases they're not too complicated you just got to do the mechanic uh, and you should be fine so for the first phase, you're going to want to uh, Skull Bash the Drain Life, or else, you know, the boss is just going to heal back up, and you don't want that to happen. Uh, you're going to want to encap the uh, Nether Storm cast. You're going to want to face and Moonfire the Eyes. And you're going to want to stay out of the circle in the middle. Uh, it gives a debuff when you're standing in it, and at five stacks, you basically, like, just die immediately after. So uh, for the second phase... Uh, when he casts Annihilate, just soak the second and the third one. Pop a couple defensives, you should be good. Interrupt the Twisted Reflections. It's a quick cast, so make sure you interrupt it or else you just wipe. Uh, and cap the Nether Storm again, same as last phase. And uh, stay out of the circles and the purple lines in the middle. And don't get knocked off. If you get knocked off, you have your Goblin Glider, you have your Charge. And uh, yeah, so before starting the fight, just make sure you eat your Fortune Cookie uh, for 10 seconds. Get that buff in. Use your Veiled Augment Rune and take the file of Glacial Furry, which I forgot to do here. Make sure your buffs are up. Uh, and go into Boomkin form. So first you're gonna wanna use Heart of the Wild, uh, then Sunfire to apply the dots, Star Surge, and then Convoke right away. Uh, you're gonna have Heart of the Wild buff for about 40 seconds, so you're gonna wanna do as much damage as possible in Boomkin form uh, while you can. And uh, yeah, you keep your teammates alive. Uh, one of them is gonna cast a Holy Words on the ground. It, kind of interrupts everything and does damage use those only uh, for emergency scenarios i recommend using that in phase two uh, but you can also use them in phase one without an issue so here i just pump out some damage as a boomkin go back into bear form for the nether horrors nether storm here i end cap get the eyeball and i interrupt the drain life and that's basically it. it's going to do this uh for a couple of times there's going to be this big infernal here following you you just got to kite it out and make sure you don't get knocked off by him. Just keep facing the eyes, dotting them up. Keep your main target dotted up. Here I actually mess up. Uh, I fat finger my uh, skull bash on the wrong target here. And instead of using my um, knockback, I actually encap. So I have nothing here for the nether storm. So I use a couple defensives and a convoke. Keeps me alive by a hair. Should be dead, honestly, but we take those. Keep my dots up on him. I accidentally use my um, offensive ability, so I just maul away. Uh, keep the eyes dotted up. Interrupt the drain life. And uh, yeah, just wait for phase two, basically. Just make sure you don't have here. I have six, six uh, stacks of debuff, so I stay out. Get my end cap ready. Look at the eyeball, and cap away, interrupt the drain life, and then I just try to melt down the odds uh, together before phase two here. I'm going to shortly enter phase two. Here I get knocked away, but I just charge back in. Phase two. So phase two is here. Get all your consumables ready. So pop your drums, pop everything. I'm convoking, here are the lines in the middle, dodging. Just pumping out as much damage as I can. Those puddles you avoid. 
He annihilates here. You interrupt this uh, cast, this Twisted Reflection cast. Now, that was the first Annihilate. I gotta get ready with my defensives for my s the second Annihilate here. Oh, the Horrors are here. I AoE them. Get my in-cap ready. In-cap. And then here, I was actually just focused on damage. Honestly, you could use the wards here. There's four. Uh, I just used them a little too late. But here, Annihilate. I pop defensives. Tank it. Charge back in. More defensives. And then I just use the Holy Wards. Finish it off. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you could definitely use the Holy Wards way before. Um, but... I usually tend to save them for the second uh, the second phase just because it's a little tougher but yeah that's that's it so now you just gotta wait it out and uh, you should have your mog and your bear form ready uh, and yeah so hopefully this video helps you guys out uh, if it did please consider subscribing uh, like the video comment anything comment away uh, I can help you guys out if you guys got any other questions regarding anything uh, please let me know if you guys like the video. It's the first time I do a video, so uh, any feedbacks appreciated. Here's the damage meter. Let's see uh, what did the most damage, and yeah, so there you go. Now you should be able to go in the barbershop, switch out your bear, get that new mog, flex on your friends.